Hey there, it's Alex here again. Today we'll be stepping into the world of home entertainment with the Orzen projector and speaker. And I just wanna say thanks to the team over at Orzen for sending over this beautiful piece of tech. Now, without further ado, let's hop into the unboxing of this projector. So I'm super excited to be reviewing this projector. Just looking at the outside of the box, it is packed with a bunch of features which is suitable for everyone's everyday use. So as you can see, as you open up the box, you have this beautiful manual, the user manual, along with um, some information to contact them, frequently asked questions, along with a quick start guide which i will be using for this and just let's take a look at the connection so taking this out we have a hdmi cable so we have an hdmi cable which we will need to connect to our device and we actually have a remote so this looks like a netflix remote or it is a remote quite similar looks like my amazon fire stick remote the design looks just like it apart from many of the buttons not coming on this and at the back you actually are able to do a scan me which gives you like a tutorial of videos how to set this up and then with that the power cable to have this set up so let me see if i could get this out okay Ooh, i am super excited let me see if i could get the projector out of the box um this has been secured properly i could tell and let me see if i could slide this projector so you guys could see it Ooh. <coughs> sorry if i'm messing up this but just take a look at this Ooh, looks like a speaker and a projector in one which is exactly what it is but just take a look at this the weight feels heavy definitely a premium projector on the front i could tell it does 1080p looking at the lens itself and there looks like to be some form of sensor that is at the front and the back itself has this is where you connect your power cable and then apart from that you have two regular usb-c slots along with a 3.5 headphone jack and two inputs of h dmi cable and at the top looks like this this is a dial to me oh yes looks like a dial and it features the clicks between so you're able to like click between each volume whether you're going up or down but wonderful i like the design of this um this definitely fits that modern aesthetic of someone who wants to have like that that kind of modern look in their living room this projector definitely ticks off the box for me so let me have this set up and be able to run through all of the features that is provided after going through the quick start manual okay so i'm back from testing and setting up was a breeze once i got the cable plugged into the projector i placed it around six feet away from the wall and that's when you're first introduced to the auto keystone and the auto focusing system so with this you don't even have to do anything the projector itself will automatically adjust the focusing to the wall and be able to even adjust the keystone stone itself it doesn't take rocket science to pretty much set up these but this made it quick and easy to do a setup pre-loaded on this android or system are a bunch of apps that i know many of you guys will use which is netflix prime video and also youtube and youtube plus but if you want to add a bunch of other apps on this application or this projector it also comes with its own android play store which you're able to access a variety of different apps to have downloaded on this projector so when i started to set this projector up i did it in front of my family and they were all amazed of how bright and vivid the picture quality of this projector was along with the audio quality so these are basically the two main features that i personally look for in any projectors now let's kind of take a look at 
first the picture quality and some of the features that I found from this projector. In both bright and dark environments, I tested these out and they worked very well. The darker environments showcased their performance better, but I tried different types of content including bright nature scenes, dark night scenes, and a colorful cartoon. Ultimately, they looked great to me, but you guys could be the judge of that. Let me know in the comments section below as well. Audio quality is great as I said before. So at the back of this projector are four speakers along with an auxiliary radiator which is found in the middle section of the four speakers and this is all powered by Dolby Audio. So take a listen at the audio quality of this and you guys could be the judge of how good or bad this audio sounded. <laughs> And along with that, there is a bunch of sound modes that you could select from depending on the content that you're listening to in order to enrich your listening experience. If you're also someone that loves to listen to music, likes to jam out at home or even invite over people to have whether it is a game night or a movie night, whatever the case may be, you could also use this projector as a Bluetooth speaker and obviously it will not be as great as a Sonos dedicated speaker but also the audio quality on this sounds rich along with the bass that you're actually able to hear coming from this projector. Sometimes I have issues with HDMI ports, especially on my TV that I have now. Sometimes when I have my laptop connected to my TV, it will drop the frames when I'm playing, let's say a 4K video or any video that has a high bit rate. And this was not the case when I was testing out this project. I quickly probed my M1 Pro MacBook into this and I was scrolling through some of the content that I had on it also on YouTube and I didn't have any issues with any of the HDMI ports that was connected at the back of the projector. However, if you don't want to use any of the ports that is dedicated at the back of this projector, whether the USB or the HDMI, you could cast to this projector once you've actually installed the casting app and the icon is there on the projector. Once you click it, you see the icon to download the app and you could cast from either Android or iOS. So I don't have an android phone but casting from my iphone was easy i don't know why i found this interesting but i also share it with you but if you're someone that likes to have the projector up and running every day there's also a screen saver option that comes on the android os of this projector at the beginning of this video i did mention that this remote kind of looked like the remote that i currently have for my tv which is an insignia tv however the design even though they look the same don't feel as premium as the insignia remote but hey this is just a remote for a projector but along with that the features or the buttons that are on this remote also does its job i didn't have any issues with controlling the projector using the remote that they provided this projector also displays up to 250 inches of width on the wall and that's around 24 meters from the base of the wall i wasn't able to test like the full length or width of this projector because i didn't have that much space on the location that i was at but apart from that as you guys could see i pretty much enjoyed testing out this projector i actually plan to use this a couple times for a either a movie night or a games night but the audio and the video quality on this projector is exceptionally well if you've made it to the end of this video i just want to say thank you and please remember to like share comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one bye